Welcome to the Miami Herald Business Show. I'm Nyla Boudou. South Florida has some of the highest health care costs in the country. For example, Medicare spends almost two and a half times more on a senior citizen in Miami than it would to have the same treatments done on a person in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Joining me today to talk about how health care reform will impact South Florida is Dr. Manny Anton. He's the Chief Operating Officer for Mercy Hospital. Dr. Anton, thanks for being my guest today. Good morning, Nala. Thank you for having me. Sure. Can you first start by explaining why health care costs are so expensive here? Nala, the, the predominant reason probably relates to our medical culture. There are a few communities like ours um, where our physicians, our health care providers, hospitals, and so on, have for uh, historical and other reasons um, provided services that are sort of what we call in the gray zone, meaning that there are uh, many communities that those services wouldn't be provided for the patient or the patient wouldn't require, request them. Uh, whereas in our community, these areas that are in the gray zone that could be useful but not necessarily and that haven't been demonstrated to be effective all the time are used and are used a lot. Given that, do you think that health care reform is necessary for South Florida? Well. South Florida probably has more need for health care reform than the rest of the country. Um, our demographics related to our unemployment rate, uh, to our immigrant population, uh, and to the accessibility of health care, particularly health care at the right time, uh, is a problem. We have a lot of folks who uh, have access from the perspective that they have hospitals they can go to when they have emergencies and so on, but we should be catching their illnesses months before. Um, and so given that, I mean, do you think that um, what kind of impact health care reform, what will that have on our economy here? Uh, there could be a couple of scenarios. One is that um, because of the changes in reimbursement, there's a negative impact. Uh, there's another school of thought that uh, things will, will, will uh, calibrate to the middle, that uh, more or less uh, what we lose uh, as an industry from the perspective of the reimbursement per unit of service will be made up of the fact that more people will be asking for services and there will actually be more movement through uh, the healthcare industry, people who before weren't going to primary cares and so on. Um, third school of thought is that the government may get it wrong and that they'll overpay. But I, I tend to believe that in the end we'll probably be uh, in the second scenario. We do have a caveat to that, which is that if we as a, as a community correct the overutilization that's occurring in Miami uh, and several other communities in the country compared to most of the country, we're going to see a negative impact economically mm, okay. on the, on the health care industry. Thank you. Thanks for those insights. Thank you for having me. That was Mercy Hospital's Dr. Anton. In other health care news, Baptist Health South Florida was the only hospital system in Florida to be named to the list of the 100 most wired health care organizations. The hospital system provides free internet access for patients and families, but it's also wired its facilities for remote monitoring of critical care units as well as electronic medical records and medication management systems. Thanks for watching. For the Miami Herald Business Show, I'm Nyla Boudou.